One issue that has plagued many Texas prisons for years on end now is extreme temperatures. Texas is one of at least 13 states that does not have universal air conditioning in its state prisons. So how hot is it getting? A July 2022 report from Texas A&M's Hazard Reduction and Recovery Center reveals that of the nearly 100 state prison facilities, 70% do not have air conditioning. The report also says temperatures inside these units regularly reach 110 degrees and got to 149 degrees in at least one unit. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice says the average temperature of these units in June was 89.2 degrees. Now, back in 2018, this department mediated 10 lawsuits connected to heat issues. In part, the agency was now legally required to put vulnerable incarcerated people in air-conditioned facilities. But the Texas A&M study seems to tell a different story. The report surveyed 309 incarcerated people in Texas prisons, with many describing their experiences with the heat. One inmate called his situation inhumane living conditions. With temperatures getting into the 90s and hundreds, this inmate says he has type 2 diabetes, asthma, and high blood pressure, and that, quote, they don't really care about the inmate's health. Another said they fainted four times in their cell with no medical attention. One female inmate pointed out that at 30 weeks pregnant, she got sick from the heat because of no air conditioning and no working fan near her unit. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice says the agency made revisions in May of 2020 as to how it handles these heat issues. Part of this involved prioritizing maintenance work orders to keep air conditioning units, showers, and fans functional during excessive heat conditions. So as this hot Texas summer moves forward, the need to improve this ongoing issue will continue as well. In Dallas, I'm Jay Wallace.